Moving on. So we've already done this room here. We have this room, which is room 62. And then this one, which is sort of an add-on, not really part of the map, but still sort of there. This room and room 62, we don't really know what was in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue storage like this in here. Maybe not as many pithoi around the bottom. Maybe just more shelving, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe bring the floor up too. I'll bring the floor up in this one and the floor up in this one. Because this is really dark. Ooh, I could put some job blocks back here. I don't know. Let's 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 go ahead and bring the floor up in this. I am totally unprepared for the amount of pottery that's going to be going in these rooms and the amount of barrels. So I'm going to break away and do a bunch of resource gathering and then I will come right back. For you though, it'll be right now. Okay, so here we are. We got room with uh, not a lot of stuff in it. And then we got this, which is sort of packed full of stuff. Yeah. Stuff everywhere. All right. We have this room, which is maybe a bathroom, maybe some sort of storage. But then we got this little thing here. And I think, I mean, I don't want to be repetitive, but I think we're just going to do some shelving. There we go. Now I do want to show you something really interesting on the map as well. So these rooms here, basically 70 through 76 much like that chunk that was over in the main building this is almost like its own standalone type thing matter of fact you could probably lift this directly out of the palace and put it somewhere else and have it as a house with these rooms back behind here being sort of like a porch now i'm not saying that that's what it was that these are just all a bunch of houses sort of glued together to make a palace but i'm just saying that you know this is kind of an interesting thing that i keep seeing that this is almost like a like a modular type construction where you have a bunch of these chunks of room blocks so with that in mind this is going to be sort of a, a wait not a waiting room but sort of like a waiting room kind of like the room that's directly across the little main plaza um, thing sort of off that way the blue floored room kind of the same idea that's what i want to do here i want to probably raise the floor up no i'll probably leave the floor the way it is anyways it doesn't really matter so we'll have sort of like a waiting room here and then you'll have sort of a big living area here and this is sort of the closet that goes underneath the stairwell but sort of a big living area here and then you've got your bathroom and your pantry right so then it kind of makes some sense this is sort of its own little apartment as for this stuff out here I mean I could do sort of the same thing now there is a room on the other side of here which I was just gonna do as a light well because there's no door there 
but it doesn't make much sense to have a light well. Well, I guess it kind of does, but it really doesn't make much sense to have a light well in here when this would have just been an outer outer edge or outside room um, without the light well, right? So you could just put windows here without the light well and it would have been fine. I don't know. I'll figure it out as we kind of get to it. But first, let's get to this right here, this sort of waiting room area. Alright, so one of the suggestions I had for plot, potted plants is using a lightning rod as the stem. So let's see what that looks like. It's not what I wanted. Okay. Alright. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, that looks like a lamp. I love lamp. I love lamp. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. I mean, it sucks because it attaches to the wall here, but you know what? It's, it's fine. It's fine. It looks fine. If I say it enough times, it, it makes it true, right? Yeah, that looks like a waiting room. Yeah, it's fine. So for this room, I want to do it as sort of like a bedroom. Here, I don't know what to do in here. All right, so there we are. Uh, sort of a kind of a neat little chamber here. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm digging it. I mean, maybe trap doors would have been better right there. But, nah, it's fine. It's fine. This is pretty cool. All right. Moving on. So here, this is just a, a walkway through here. Though I think there was like a pithos in here or something. But that's just, there's just not enough room. This, we're not really sure what was here. This room, we're not really sure what was here as well. And this room, same thing. So we've got three rooms here that we're not really sure of. And then to top it all off, we've got this room that, I mean, 
yeah, it's sort of a nothing room. So we will turn this one into a light well. Perhaps having it as a light well meant that this was a little more protected. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But there was no doorway here, so... I mean... Yeah, okay. So let's do this room as sort of a waiting room. This room as storage. And this room as another bedroom. All right. I have changed my mind. This is going to be a small bedroom. All right, so I've got this room, this room done, this room done, and now we're gonna do this room. Okay, so there's that. And that, okay. So let's talk a little bit about light wells. Light wells are rooms like this that seemingly have no doors um, that are sort of weird, right? People, people in the comments have asked, what about these rooms that seemingly have no doors? Well, it could, be, it could be any number of things, right? It could be renovations and the rooms are no longer used, so they seal them off, which happens everywhere. A lot of civilizations do that. Um, but what we do see is we do see something called a light well. And basically what it is, is it's a room like this that's open to the sky. And the sun, of course, illuminates down in here. Uh, and in this room, there will be little windows that sort of pop into some of these other rooms that, that give these rooms light. Because a lot of these rooms are... Well, for example, this one here, where it's completely inside the complex. There's no outside walls. And so you need light to get in here, natural light. And so you would do these little light wells where you would do this. This would be completely open. So when we put the roof on, we won't put a roof on over this. So I got a light well here. I've got this room, which has no door, but it's fairly large. We're gonna make this into a light well as well. And then over here, these rooms, which I've still have yet to get to, because, whoops, ooh, here, we'll just walk over there. So these rooms over here, I've yet to get to. These are a bunch of small little rooms here. These will also have a light well uh, with them as well. And I'm not really sure what I want to do with these rooms, so we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll come to these in a second. But let's knock out some windows in some of the light wells and see what it looks like. So we got to figure out what we want to do with these rooms. These rooms seem like utility rooms to me. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we'll put a whole bunch of, of yeah, something. So we have big room, Small room, even smaller room. So let's go with pantry. Utility, bedroom. Final room is this one. All 
All right, so there we are. All of the rooms in the first floor of the Southwestern building have been filled. Now, a lot of these I took some liberties with, and they should not be seen as historical fact, but rather my interpretation of these rooms. And now, I'm gonna go throw a roof on them, and we'll get to the glamour shots. So, until next time, I'll see you then. Thank you.